If now we want to enter our first country, we won't have to worry about the identifier, since it's been defined as auto number and Genexus will maintain its value. Note that we could leave the country name empty and skip directly to looking for this country's flag. This should not be possible. We should not be allowed to enter countries without a name. So let's see how we can implement this. We return to RKB and let's define a rule. So we open the Rules tab and we'll start defining what we call behavior rules. These rules will allow us to modify the transaction's default behavior. If we don't want to allow the insertion of countries without a name, we will have to declare an error rule. We add parentheses and between co quotes we'll enter the text we wish to display when someone's entering a country without specifying a name for it. We'll also indicate the conditions that would be true for this rule to be triggered. The condition will be if country name is empty. We save the changes and press F5. Genexus then rebuilds and compiles our developer menu. Note that declaring this rule does not cause a reorganization since it's not a change that would imply a physical modification to the database. It's simply a change in behavior. Now if we open our country transaction, leave the, leaving the country name empty and skip it directly to search for the flag, this rule we've just defined gets triggered automatically, preventing us from continuing to enter this country. As soon as we define the country ID attribute as auto numbered, we know that Genexus will take care of maintaining it. If we want to make sure the user can't enter a value, we could use the no accept rule. This rule would ensure that the user won't be able to enter a value for this attribute. Here it's asking us for the attribute name. We could just, just type it in or we could use the option Control Shift A. Genexus will offer us those attributes that are saved in RKB. We select the country ID attribute and we close the parentheses. I add a semicolon in order to finish declaring the rule and save the changes. I press F5 and running our transaction again we see that the attribute is disabled. If we wanted Genexus to let us know when we are trying to enter a country without a flag, we could declare a message rule. The message rule will display whatever message we define for it, but it will still allow us to continue executing the transaction. Note that we could also use the option Insert in the menu bar in order to directly insert rules we want to declare. Also note that these rules were written in a declarative manner. Except for a few exceptions, the order in which the rules are declared does not matter. In these examples we have entered here, 
the rules will be triggered in the order in which the attributes country ID, country name, and country flag are found within the transactions form. Since these are the attributes that are involved in the declaration of the rules.